we found a great spot right here. Must have been a thousand fish here a couple nights ago. Lots of globs of eggs in here. We, we were in the same spot a couple of nights ago. That's why we know that this is going to strike it rich. Well, here in the sand, a couple days after the grunion run, you can see a little glob of eggs. They're orange, maybe orange and pink. They are developing. Three days old, perhaps, maybe four. Each female lays 2,000 eggs, more or less. We put them in the bucket and dig for some more. What we're going to do with these eggs that are two, three, four days old is wait for them to mature. And on the eighth day from when they were placed in the sand and fertilized, they should be mature and ready. So anywhere from eight days to maybe 28 days, they will stay in the sand and wait for the tide to bring the surf back. When the surf comes in again, they'll emerge. So in a couple of days, we'll look at these eggs, and we'll be able to see their heart beating, a pair of eyes, and miscellaneous other body parts. You'll notice the glob has a visitor. You'll see a little worm. They live in the sand and will partake of an occasional egg sandwich. They're not a major predator. You'll notice how deep it is in the sand. You'll also notice that the top of the sand is beginning to dry out. So the insulation on the top will keep these eggs moist so they can survive for their 10 days plus. These eggs are only three, maybe four days old. They need another four or five days to mature. Once they're mature, they're ready to hatch, but they're not going to hatch in the sand. They're going to hatch only when the surf comes up and reaches their level, washes away the top sand. Bingo, they'll emerge within a minute or so and head for the surf. This is day four. We're calling it day four. It might be day two or three or maybe even five because the grunion run on the beach for a series of about four days. And we came back maybe a week later, and we can't tell which particular series these eggs were produced. You'll notice the yolk sac, which is loaded with oils, is quite prominent. You see nothing else. Day five, not much different, but trust me, there are things happening metabolically inside of those eggs. They're beginning to develop. Day six, you can see a few of the little nematode worms in view. They don't cause any problems for the eggs. They'll only eat the eggs if, for some reason, the eggs die or get damaged. Then the little nematode worms will go in and uh, munch on the nutrition available in the sand. Day seven, you begin to see the eyes. You can see the pairs of little gray spheres. The heart is beginning to beat, but hard to see. Day eight, lots of things beginning to happen. The heart begins to be prominent. The eyes continue to improve their acuity. Day nine, these eggs will probably hatch. They're ready to roll. Maybe 50% hatch. 50% of those eggs will become little fish if the conditions of the surf hitting them are just right. Notice the yolk has pretty much disappeared. Day 10. These eggs will probably hatch the best. Probably 90% of these eggs will become fish within a couple of minutes of the seawater meeting them. You can see blood surging through little arteries and veins. The yolk is gone. 
we've got some simple materials here. We've got a container of magic sand and a little jug of seawater and a little container that we're going to use shortly. Fourteen days ago on the beach in Southern California, these eggs that you can't see in this sand were laid on the beach, a sandy shore, put it in there. We're going to simulate the surf coming in tonight because these things are ready. The tides are just about right to reach the location where these were deposited in the sand two weeks ago. Well, surf's up. Tides are coming in. The waves are hitting the sand and removing from the sand the grunion eggs. I'm looking at the numbers here. Mm, maybe 200 little grunion eggs in the sand. They will feel the crashing waves and begin to emerge within the next couple of minutes from the beach sand. So we swirl the water simulating the surf. Okay, in the bowl we have simulated surfs up. Little eggs emerging. So these are the fish just born. They emerge from these eggs almost instantly when the fresh seawater hits their sleeping cell in the sand. They've been about six inches deep in the sand, maybe an inch of hot, dry sand on the surface, but cool, moist sand below. The sand on the top of these eggs could have been too hot to stand on. And just a few inches away, in cool, moist sand, they survive that lethal temperature. You might see one egg in there without eyes and no little beating heart. That's an infertile egg. Of the 2,000 eggs in the glob, maybe four or five eggs out of 2,000 will be infertile. So the process is pretty efficient in that mess on the beach of sand and fish and water in a turmoil. The fertilization process still gets done.